I've called this one things to watch out for before buying a model steam engine. And on this model steam engine that's just about everything. It's a semi bar stock engine. It's got a very crudely cast base. I think the casting may have been done in a home workshop so I can't be too scathing on that. I don't much care for the use of Allen cap heads and various Allen bolts throughout the engine either. Nor do I like bar stock eccentrics. I'm trying to think of something nice to say about this engine. Oh, hang on a minute. I quite like the drip feed oilers on the crankshaft. They're quite nice on the main bearings. But everything else is fairly grim, I'm afraid. One of the eccentrics is just spinning free on the crankshaft. This should be an easy fix to make the engine go. But alas, no. When I put the eccentrics in what I thought was a position that would make the engine go, it doesn't go at all. Everything blows past everywhere. It seems to blow past the piston and maybe the valve. I've not been inside there yet, I can't wait. Personally, I cannot see the point in making an engine like this for whatever reason, because it's crude in every way. And looking at the crankshaft, I'm not too happy about what I think is a recent knock it's had on the end. So the crankshaft is also bent. And look at this for a fit. Beautiful. I'd better quickly put some oil on the die block that runs in the expansion link so it doesn't wear out the expansion link too quickly. This engine, along with another unfortunately very similar engine, was bought by a friend of mine, and I think he was a little bit too over-enthusiastic. The funny part about it, that really makes me laugh, is the casting letter on the steam chest cover. How very apt. I'm going to sit this one in the corner of the workshop and look at it for a while, before I decide whether it's worth repairing. There's certainly a lot of work to do to make this into a respectable steam engine. And really, some of them are not worth it. Uh, this one is a candidate for that, as is the other one. I'm not really having to go at the builder, and I do apologise if I have offended anyone. I can only see and say what I see. So that's about it for this one, short and sweet. So if you're thinking of buying an F engine, maybe at some stage you can watch me attempting to rebuild it.